Hello and welcome. My name is Robin and you're watching our Robin Reads. Today I'm going to do another tag with you guys. And sorry again about the lighting, but I'm still figuring it out in this room. Uh, the sun is pretty low, so it's just very annoying. But I hope this is sort of okay. Let me let me know. But I'm going to do the tag that's going around booktube a lot uh, these days and that's going to be the end of the year book tag um, I'm going to try and do it next year a little bit earlier like in September um, I think that was like the how do you call it like the reason to do that but um, yeah I'm just gonna do it now because I saw it around and I was like yeah I'm just gonna do that one um, the end of the year book tag basically is to yeah, see what you have left to read and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first question is, are there any books you start this year that you had that you need to finish? So, yes. <laughs> As you know, I, um, well, you might know, but I start books very, very often. Um, I have on my currently reading list, like, Probably like 20 books, which is way too much. And I don't really like that either. I'm going to try and fix that hopefully in December. But yeah, we shall see how far I get. But I have some books that um, yeah have been on that currently reading shelf. Like uh, one of them even like probably the whole year or like uh, February. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about them. Um, I've got four. So the first one is one I actually think I started last year. Um, not super sure. But that is this one. It's the Penguin Book of Gay Short Stories. And it's by edited by David Leavitt or something. And Mark Mitchell. And yeah, this book I started, I think, like last year. It's, um, as you can guess, a short story collection. Um, I don't really read short story collections uh, and I find it difficult um, this one at least I am 130 pages into it this far with a very lovely bookmark um, and this book is very big it's um, 650 pages so I'm not going to finish this this year uh, probably but I'm going to just try and Maybe get like halfway through. We shall see. But yeah, this has been on my currently reading shelf for way too long. And yeah, I bought this book for 6 euros. Which is a lot of money for me to buy books. So I really want to read it. And um, the stories that, that I read were um, just okay. I didn't super like them. Um, it wasn't very gay actually. Uh, so I hope that the other stories will be, like, more gay. Um, but the next book that I want to mention is um, this one. Uh, the Jungle Books by Richard Kipling. Uh, yeah, I started this one, I'm not sure when, but a couple of months ago, I think, already. I'm on page 87. Uh, so this far into it. And, yeah, I... I'm sort of liking this, um, the stories are good, but I'm right now at the part where, um, well, the stories weren't a lot about Mowgli. And I like Mowgli, I like the Jungle Book, uh, the Disney movie and stuff. But yeah, like the first two stories were about him and then after that they weren't. So I'm going to try and figure out what I want to do with this book if I want to skip the other stories because I didn't really like um, the ones that I read so far uh, that weren't about Mowgli um, or that I'm plowing through and just gonna read it but yeah I really am liking this so far but again just need to sit down and read it next one is this one Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens I started this in like February uh, this was one of the books that I then um, pulled out of my big book, big books to read jar, TBR jar, 
because this one is, let me see, 510 pages. Um, I am, let me see, 86 pages into this and um, I actually was really sort of liking this. It wasn't too difficult to read. Uh, the story itself was, yeah, okay, um, not like super interesting, but still pretty good. And yeah, I really like Charles Dickens' uh, book, A Christmas Carol, so I want to read this as well. Uh, but yeah, another one that I really need to plow through. Then the last one I want to talk about is this one, a Dutch book, uh, Red Snow in December by Simone van der Vlucht. This is a historical fiction book that I started um, as an audiobook, I believe. And the audiobook app uh, on my, at my library wasn't working very well, so I stopped reading this. I got pretty far into it, actually. Um, I'm on page 108. But yeah, I need to finish this. Uh, I was really liking this, actually. Um, but yeah, we shall see if I can manage to finish it. Uh, yeah, at the end of the year, before the end of the year. So the second question is, do you have any autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? So me personally, I don't really read like seasonally. Um, I actually am... That kind of person that reads like the other way around. So, for example, if it's summer, I like to read, um, yeah, wintry books because then I'm very hot. So I can try to, um, yeah, fantasize myself into cold weather. <laughs> um, so I also like to listen to Christmas music in summer. But yeah, that's just me. Uh, but I have one book that is very autumnal because it's actually called Autumn. It's by Ali Smith. I talked about this one in my series TBR. And this is a short story collection. Yeah, about Autumn, I think. I'm not sure. Um, it's pretty short. I hope to read this this month. But as you know, I have a lot, a lot of reading plans this month. So probably not going to happen. But I really want to try and read this in the Autumn. Just because... The third question is, is there a new release you are still waiting for? No, I don't keep up with new releases except for like the Ned Kelly books. But as you saw in my last Ned Kelly book haul, I'm going to stop doing that. I'm really not enjoying it at the moment, actually. Um, so, no. Uh, the fourth question is, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? I have three books over here that I'm going to show you. They are all for like challenge, challenges, sort of. Uh, the first one is this one, uh, The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. So I am participating in uh, a challenge, of course. I'm participating in everything. But a challenge called um, Choose Your Own Adventure Challenge. And um, yeah, the, the group, a group on Goodreads is uh, yeah, the... The owner of that group is um, creating this challenge and it's very, very awesome. Um, and yeah, I just read um, the next chapter in line and I chose uh, my own adventure. And the prompt for that was to read a book with the word like window or something in the title or to read the woman in the window. And this one was actually already on my TBR, so I thought, why not read it? Um, I am very looking forward to this one. Um, I think this one is pretty creepy, um, and I am really craving just a very good thriller. Um, we shall see when I get around to it, but I am really excited to read it. Uh, then one that is for, well, both, I think, are for my TBR purse challenge, but I, yeah... Swapped it around a lot because DNF in books, you know, it happens a lot on this channel. But uh, the first one is this one, Till We Meet Again by Leslie Pierce. This one is also on my on-hop project list, which is going not very well, but you know. Um, this one is, I think, a mystery drama. 
Uh, and yeah, I really want to read this. Then the other one, uh, the last one, is this one. I actually bought this from a friend, so I really want to get it back to her when I see her. Um, probably not going to be for a while, because, you know, the world. But this is the House of the, Sp the Spirits, I think. It's called in English by Isabel Allende. This is the Dutch version. And also, I think, on my TBR Purse Challenge, uh, but again, I swap things around, so I'm not sure. Uh, but this one is yeah a very well known uh yeah book classic sort of and i'm really looking forward to it so the fifth question is is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year uh, i'm not sure um i'm also not sure what's going to be the favorite book of the year uh, actually um yeah i haven't read like a lot of great books i think this year um but i have some ideas but you will see in my end of the year wrap up which i will be doing by the way in january because i think it's just weird to do it in december so i'm going to do that in january but i think um the eye of the world by robert jordan might be a new favorite book um, as you know i really love fantasy and especially epic fantasy so yeah we shall see you will um, hear this in one of my wrap-ups and then the last question is have you already started making plans for 2021 um, of course i really like making plans schedules and stuff like that um, one thing i'm going to mention here is that i'm going to do different things for my tbr videos um, and that's going to start in the new year. So the first video will be out in December for my January TBR. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I'm also going to participate in the uh, Buzz Wordathon. Um, that's hosted by Books and Lala. And uh, she's going to make like a group for that on Goodreads. And she's going to host it. Well, not really host it, but she's just going to drop buzzwords and in that group and every month the first week in that month is going to be a buzzword thumb which i'm super excited about because i think it's a very great way to knock off some books of my tbr but yeah those are two things that i'm going to um, do in 2021 but i will be of course making a whole video about my plans for 2021 so stay tuned for that will be out in December somewhere uh, but yeah that was the end of the year book tag um, I have a little bit uh, of an idea of how much I still need to read this year which is a lot um, and yeah I'm probably not going to manage all of this uh, I might do like a catch-up month in January as well as well as in December uh, you will hear more about that in my December TBR but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, comment down below if you have done this tag or um, do the tag down below if you want to do that. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. So please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I will see you later.